welcome back. Bill here. Radio call sign Whiskey X-Ray 4 Alpha Romeo. It's been a while since I've added any content to the channel, but now it's time, and I have some news. Uh, the QTH has changed. We are no longer in New Jersey. We are now living in Central Florida. The XYL and myself are uh, very, very happy to be here. All right, today, though, I want to tell you a story about my mobile rig. Uh, for years, I had a Yaesu uh, TH7800, I believe it's called, and I loved that radio. I absolutely loved it. Uh, did everything I wanted it to do, but unfortunately, about a year ago, I had a problem with it, and I will, sorry about that, show you what happened. Okay, the 7800, I had the body in this little uh, cubby hole of my uh, 2015 Jeep Cherokee. And one day uh, I went to turn the radio on and it didn't do anything, no power, nothing. So I came back here hoping it was just, you know, unplugged at the, at the uh, power outlet here. But what had happened was this cubby hole that the rig was in was full of water. Now what happened? Well, my best guess is that, first of all, I had the cable, the coax cable just like this. I believe water ran down the coax cable and filled up the cubby. <laughs> so, after taking it apart and letting it dry out for about a week, I plugged it back in and to my surprise, the lights came on, the receive came on, Everything on that radio worked properly except one small thing. The transmitter didn't work. The transmitter was totally dead. So, it's now a scanner because <laughs> I uh, can't transmit. So what I did was I didn't want to spend a lot of money right now or back then. So I bought myself a, 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 a TYT. Uh, TH 9800 that's a quad band and uh, I put that in here and I'm going to show you that in a moment but what hopefully to keep from the rain coming in I took the coax cable and I put it around this little hook here and it just seems that it works better I have had zero water in here now where am I keeping the body under the spare tire cover oh sorry about that there it is right there and it's totally dry totally works well all right let's put that back down good and close the the gate all right currently i have a tram antenna tram mag mail that works okay not bad at all However, I do want to replace that. I want to replace it with a, a shorter antenna. It's, um, I'm sorry, I can't remember the name of it. I will insert a picture of it right, right here. And uh, I want to get that because it's only 17 inches high. And what is so unusual about this antenna, it's actually two whips. It's a, a two meter whip and then a secondary 70 centimeter whip. But again, it's only 17 inches high. So hopefully that'll be shorter. And the reason I want a shorter one is we are pretty close to Disney and I want to visit uh, Disney Springs a lot because we love Disney. And the garages are pretty low. So I'm hoping a 17 inch will suffice. So uh, stand by a minute and I'll show you the uh, TH9800 by YTY. Thursday, okay, that's where I had the uh, TYT, YTY. <laughs> Sorry about it, but it is the uh, TH9800. Again, it's a quad band. And the way I have it is I have it right under all the controls of the radio and the climate control. That's right. Currently on the B-band I have the uh, 
uh, local weather. And on the A band, let me go ahead and put this in scan. I have about uh, five frequencies in here. Uh, a lo uh, a local repeater, a couple repeaters a little further away. Uh, one's from Walt Disney, two of them are from Walt Disney World. Um, I also have in there the 10 meter FM calling frequency. Now I know I can't transmit it on it because I don't have a proper antenna, but I uh, figured, you know, maybe I can hear something. Unfortunately, I have not heard anything yet. So what I want to do today, as you can see, my wiring here is really horrible. I want to move this. I'm thinking about moving it to over here, right on top of the dash. And then the speaker, I'm going to put right behind the back seat up by the headrest. So hopefully uh, that'll work out pretty well. All right, that's the uh, Sarnet station in Lakeland, Florida. If you don't know, Sarnet is a statewide uh, repeater system. So basically, you can talk anywhere from, uh, Corp uh, from Pensacola all the way down to uh, Key West. I found that really exciting. Now, I'm under a, a carport right now. So I'm not really getting a great signal. Okay, let me turn this down. Okay. That's where I put it. I can see it a lot better than looking down there. Not too bad. Not the perfect place, but uh, I think it's better than it was. Now, if I get the 200, I'm really not sure where I'm going to put that. Uh, the body of the uh, 200 will have to go under the front seat here. So it'll be a lot closer. Uh, I barely had enough wire to reach the bo from the body to the faceplate on this one, barely, but it is uh, workable. I don't know, maybe up there, right here, I'm not sure. All right, let's talk about the uh, TH9800. Uh, it was, uh, I think I paid $239 for it. Which, uh, which is a decent price. But the quality is not Yaesu quality. I'm a Yaesu guy. I, uh, I have uh, two uh, HF sta uh, stations. They're both Yaesu. I have a Yaesu handheld. And my old mobile was a Yaesu. I definitely love Yaesus. This is not... Let me turn the volume down a little more. Not Yaesu quality. Plus, I found it to have a very large learning curve. Uh, you just can't turn it on and hope for it to work. I mean, you have to set everything. Uh, uh, automatic repeater shift you got to set. Uh, just about everything. Where my Yesu, it seemed like it, it automatically knew what the repeater set would be. And, um, well, I, I figured it out. Finally figured it out. <laughs> Almost, took me almost a year, but I finally figured it out. And it's working okay. I can't complain. Uh, but on my list, hopefully uh, within the next month or two, or if not, maybe for Christmas, maybe Santa will bring me uh, the ASU uh, FT, uh, FTDM, is it? 200? Now that is a sharp little radio. Expensive as all get out. But I really love it. And it is so easy to program. It's got a touch screen. 
All you gotta do is push a button and I'll take you exactly where you need to be for your code entrances and it's gorgeous. And I will make a complete video of that when, uh, if and when I get that. All right, well, let me uh, leave it off here and I think I'm gonna try to move this around a little bit and I'll bring you back and show you uh, any progress. So uh, stand by. Okay, well, that's it uh, for this video. Thank you for joining me. Um, I want to get back into uh, more videos on amateur radio. Uh, unfortunately, I can't set up my HF station here. Uh, we live in a HOA community, and uh, where my daughter, uh, we're living with our daughter. If I didn't mention that before, her, her house is situated. There's like no trees in the backyard. It's, it's, her entire property is visible from the street. Uh, let me turn this down a little bit. Okay. Uh, what I may do is get a portable antenna. I'm thinking about going with uh, ham sticks to make a, a, a dipole out of the ham sticks uh, that I can put on a tripod. That way, uh, when I want to use it, I set it up. When I'm done, I take it down and put it, put it on the porch. So we'll see. All right, again, thank you for joining me. I uh, hope you enjoyed this content. Uh, we will be back with more content in the future. We'll see. So goodbye for now, 73, and good DXing.